Well, today we're going to be talking about back pressure on the boiling point, but before we get started, make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to the YouTube channel, but also hit that little bell and make sure you're notified of the weekly boiler tips as well as steam culture um, and, of course, all the boiling points that are out there. Well, today we're going to be talking about the back pressure, as I said, on the boiling point. Welcome to The Boiling Point, I'm Richie Ware, this is Steven Taylor, and Steven, we were talking about back pressure. I, I keep hearing it everywhere, everybody's talking about back pressure, I thought, man, let's just talk about it. What's going on with back pressure? Why is it good? Why is it bad? <clears throat> the older burner technology, um, back pressure wasn't an issue, they just, they just ran, mm -hmm. but with this newer technology, they're high efficiency, we're trying to reduce knocks, reduce emissions, and doing that, that burner is designed to have a certain amount of pressure on it. Mm -hmm. And if we don't keep that back pressure on it, it just lets the flame, we're, we're sucking the flame off the burner, mm -hmm. is what mm -hmm. it amounts to. And so, is it, is it actually the boiler that's causing that? Um, what, what is it that no, causes that? No, it's the that? stack. We run into it because we design them in on new installations so we know what's going on, so we'll design the, the stack and, and, and put dampers in if we have to. What we run into it more is on burner conversions, mm -hmm. where it's an existing burner. They've got a stack that's 40, 50 feet high. And then what happens with that tall stack, as soon as you start firing, it actually creates its own draft. Mm -hmm. So it starts sucking air through the boiler. Mm -hmm. And the next thing you know, you've got a, a negative draft. So it's pulling the flame off the burner. It just mm -hmm. pulls it off. And Anybody that's been out there and, and, and been with these, uh, this newer technology and you start firing one and you hear it huffing, hoo, 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 well that's, that's that vacuum, it's starting to suck that flame off that burner so then we've had to do things to stop that. Now does that eventually pull the flame off? It'll pull it completely off and it, it'll, 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 the flame will go out and, okay. and when it goes out you hope that the, everything catches it. Normally it does, sure. but every now and then it'll go off and it come back on before the flame safeguard can catch it and it, then you have a yeah. little issue you don't want to deal with. And I've heard like when uh, boilers are out there and they're, they're newly installed and they're trying to get everything started, the new burner started up that sometimes they need a little more back pressure mm -hmm. and they'll do some things with the stack. Yeah, what is and, that? And there's there's a couple things we can do. Um, you can put a manual damper in, mm -hmm. and for for a lot of burner applications, mm -hmm. that works fine. Um, some of them it doesn't. If you know you're in a place where the wind changes directions, it, you have high wind velocities, what, whatever it is, you have a high stack that's on cool days. It's the the vacuum is is a certain point and it heats up. It's different. So then we will put a modulating damper in there. We will put a modulating valve on there, mm -hmm. a servo motor. And then we'll set the pressure on the stack at a point and that's set in the combustion curve so that we, so that we maintain that pressure throughout the firing range the same, you know, the same way. Mm -hmm. What the burners are designed for is zero pressure at the stack. We okay. want zero pressure at the stack. So if it's positive or negative, either one, that's not good. We want zero there because there's a pressure drop through the boiler the burner is designed for and it wants to see that pressure at that uh, head of that of that burner the same all the time so we do that with pressure sensors and, and then a servo on that damper yeah which obviously you know water tube fire tube different uh, type designs but if you have like a two pass three pass four pass um, manufacturers are really taking the burner and saying hey this is going on a three pass boiler mm -hmm. and they design it to make sure that that back pressure is Exactly. Zero. The burner's designed now for the, the back pressure that the boiler manufacturer tells the burner manufacturer, hey, here's what my back pressure is going to be. So if we don't maintain that back pressure with the stack and whatever damper, dampers we put on there, mm -hmm. that pressure changes and the burner's not going to like it. It's not going to react well. So new um, operator that's in a boiler room, um, he's listening for that huffing sound that you're talking about. He's listening for that sound. And, and most of the time it's harmonics. Mm -hmm. You just hear it. Mm -hmm. But every now and then do it'll, that it'll <laughs> do that again. <laughs> <laughs> but but you, you'll, you'll hear that. And <clears throat> again, you know, we, we train these guys, maintenance guys to, to listen for things that are different. Walk mm -hmm. through the boiler room, 
something sounds different, listen to it, see what it is, and then start looking to, to see what you can do to fix it. And obviously, if it gets into a situation like that, certainly call a service company. Absolutely. Um, whether it's us or someone else to make sure get that somebody the combustion is correct. Get and, that thing adjusted yeah. and get things right so you don't have a combustion issue that you, you don't want to deal with. Awesome. I appreciate it. Back pressure today on the boiling point. We'll see you next time.